He didn't bound it to Epps. That's the guy you want to foul. Epps is a redshirt freshman who doesn't have a lot of game action. Pitt feels pretty good about him as a foul shooter. That's why he's in the game. But uh, Epps has only played six minutes in this ball. It'll be two free throws. Trying to make it a two-possession game. One more for F. So at worst, it's a three-point game. No timeouts for DePaul. And I think that benefits them in a scramble situation. Those guys are good in the open floor. And DePaul is 7 of 11 from behind the arc this half. Obviously, it's a three isn't necessary. Boy, that's a lot of time to ice up. So look how far his feet are from the free throw line. It's a 16-foot shot. He missed that one. DePaul can tie or win with a three. Five seconds left. Here's Young with two. He'll take it to the basket. Get oh. fouled and score with 1.3 on the clock. Count the bucket. And Young can give DePaul the lead with a free throw. Time shot. Now looking for the go-ahead free throw. 72% of the year. 1.3 on the clock. The timeout. Watch Cleveland Melvin from DePaul stunning on this one, trying to get to the rim. In case of a miss. He hit the free throw. DePaul by one. Robinson the inbound. Long pass down court. Except 